All right, today we are talking about Achilles tendon issues and namely Joe's Achilles tendon that he has an issue with. Now, this one's an interesting one because it is one that we thought was a tendinopathy and tried to load it, but it's actually a more of a tenosynovitis inflammatory problem, and I'll go through how we came across that with his rehab. Now, he injured his tendon at a grand final of footy. Now, Joe's an AFL footy player, so he injured that in the last game. Now, because it was a bit sore in the warm-up, he kept playing, which then obviously ended up injuring. Now, if it's grand final, we keep playing, so he could run through it, that was fine, but then ended up being sore afterwards. And it was a bit inflamed, it was very tender, classic sort of, okay, you've injured your Achilles tendon. Now, with this sort of thing, we're thinking, okay, is it because he's had an increase in load, like a spike in load, so he's done a lot of footy over a short period of time, probably with an old weakened tendon in there, and it's what we call a reactive tendinopathy. So it's got a bit inflamed, but the problem is the weakness. So what we did is let it settle for a week, and then we went through some strengthening work. Okay, so the first thing we did was isometric loading. So he would do a single leg calf raise, isometric, sort of around about the 45 second mark, about five reps of that every single session. So once he had achieved that, then we went into some loaded stuff. Now that involved a bar, so simply what we did, come over here Joe, is he used a bar, now we'll just show you a normal bar today, racked it up into there, and this one was up onto his toe. He'd get the bar up, slide it up, and then just try and hold it there. And I could obviously max him as high as he possibly could. Again, trying to get about the 30, 45 second mark um, for as long as he could handle. Um, and obviously, as we got better, the load went on. So, you know, up to almost 50 kilos on that. And that was heavy loading, which he could handle, and that was fine. Um, and then he went to some isotonics. So after that, did do some single leg calf raise off a step. So went into here, doing some work, going onto the step from there, and working on some single leg calf raise. So working that tendon through range, obviously just with body weight to start with, and then he'd work on loading that up and trying to get on using a kettlebell, holding some weight to get some load in there. So this was all fine and he was working on it. Yeah, there's still some aggravation there, but he was getting the strengthening work done. And listen, the strengthening's good for a tendon. However, with Joe, what happened is that progress didn't happen. So he failed to progress. And so when we had a close look at it, it was more of a re real inflammatory problem. So we actually had to pull back and rest that and treat that. So when we looked more closely at it, because he could handle strength, it wasn't a sort of a strength issue. We didn't have any sort of problems like a weakness that you have with a normal tendinopathy. So this one is just the sort of thing you need to look at more closely, okay? Go back and see what's not working, have another reassessment of it and see, and it was a little bit thickened than the other one. Like it's a little bit more, and that tendon there just needed some anti-inflammatory medication, it needed some anti-inflammatory cream, it needed some rest, it needed some treatment and flush that thing out settle it down because he wasn't losing any strength. He was strong, okay? There's no loss in strength. Just settle it down for a period and then once it's settled down, he's feeling a lot better, then we slowly build that up if we need to. But if he doesn't lose any strength, if it's simply a tenosynovitis and there's no drop in strength, he can start resuming his football in one or two weeks, football training, start getting back into running, so you go. If there's a problem at that point where the weakness has kicked in, then we'll start going back through a graduated strengthening program. But this is one that, you know, sometimes they fool you a little bit, where you start straight into the strengthening work after a little bit of rest, but actually it needs the rest first. Now the reason we showed you on his right in the gym there about his tenon is because I don't want him loading his left. His left is the problem. But I showed you on his right because that was the one we were loading, just to show those exercises. Now, the left one, what we were doing, and we started off massaging out the tendon, but I think that irritated it. So what we've done is we've moved away, let that rest, that can have some cream and that sort of thing, let that rest, but we're working on getting his calf looser. So think about the gastroc, the soleus, the attachment parts of the tendon, because of this inflammation here, they start getting tired, it limits some of that progress, plus if it's been tight before from a lot of running around, it's basically putting a lot of load through the tendon. Now we wanna 
unload that tendon. It's probably not strengthening it just yet. So the more you can unload a tendon to let it rest, to let it settle, the happier, the quicker that's gonna come right, the less roadblocks you've got in the way for a progression of his injury, right? So the be a bit of release work, finding all the knots, adhesions through this calf, get that loosened up. That will indirectly free this up here, make him feel a lot better there, and then hopefully we can get into his training next time. And what we'll do is show you the actual progressions to sport, okay? So is he ready to go back to certain parts? Is he ready for the calf raise? Is he ready to do jumping work? Is he ready to do hopping work? Is he ready to do, you know, sprinting, that sort of thing? So we'll show you in about two weeks time the testing that we're gonna do on his calf for those various stages and follow him through to see how he progresses and what he needs to do at each stage to get that 100% but also not to re-aggravate it on the way and not to jump too many hoops and make sure he ticks all the boxes on the way through with the strengthening. See you then.